Wow. You can't even walk in here. I gotta do some cleanup. I gotta do some cleanup. What's up guys? Russ with RWG Research. Um, so I just thought I'd give you an update. I've been doing lots and lots of stuff. I had to work this weekend and uh, be working the next couple. So I have no idea what my next live show is, but pay attention to the timer. Um, I will update that when I do find out. So I've, this is like a broad update of everything I've been working on. Um, one thing I want to talk about is the VIC with the ferrite cores that we have. Um, the permeability is a little high and um, I will show you those uh, measurements right now. Okay, if you guys go to the forums and find the step-by-step -step VIC build thread, here are the measurements. This is a bad way of looking at it. I do have the file attached, but I can't open it because I don't have the right program on this operating system. But right here you can download the file. But there they are. Um, they are a little high, but they're pretty close. And that's with that 1200 or 1100 perm core. Um, all the information is over there at the thread if you want to look through it. But uh, it's still a little high. We're thinking even, even going down to around 850 or so permeability and seeing what happens. Um, one thing I will tell you, I, I was able to get about a thousand volts out of that with pulsing it 50% duty, not adjusting the duty cycle. Um, that's with the standard measurements with the 30 um, AWG wire and those those uh, cores that we have. So that's with no gap or anything like that. Closed, uh, closed and uh, yeah. Now when you hook up the water fuel cell, about 10 volts is all you get. Um, I'm really really wondering if that particular setup because of the way they're designed um, I have a feeling they were designed to fit in the card slot and not really the best design in the world um, it does produce high voltage I think if you had it all tuned right it may uh, give you better results but not having much luck I don't really think anybody has had much luck with those so um, that might have been something that you know Stan talks about as an engineering approach um, that may not have been a final design so that might be a one of those things you know not everything the man built probably worked and this might be one of them um, might be a design flaw I don't know but what I will tell you moving on to the next thing I will tell you that this coil produces one heck of a voltage this little booger right here I do not believe was a design flaw this thing is awesome um, I actually th the output of this um, well, let's start it over. This is a 13 cavity replica of the design in the drawings that were released. This is actually a 13 cavity. Everything's to specification. And um, yeah, so I'm going to show you how I built this. I'm going to show you some uh, pictures here of the building process. All right. This is one side. Um, the holes are exactly as in the drawing. Everything fits up real nicely. And um, the these are threaded and I do have the connectors coming. Look over there at the forums for the link to the connectors. We actually found ones that were almost identical. Uh, Fire Pinto did. So there's the one end, there's the other end. Um, there are the bobbins, 13 cavity, two specification. Um, one thing that I did was this outer circumference might be a fraction off and the depth might be a fraction off and the width might be a fraction off. All of those teeny tiny minor minute things um, whenever wrapping the wire the wire fits almost exactly on there but unfortunately it just barely caught the edges as you can see here and um, the very first one I did got all tangled up because I, I tried to get it to fit on there a little better and got tangled up and it was a giant mess so unfortunately this particular stainless steel wire is pretty much shot because I, may, I had a couple of kinks I was not very happy um, but as you can see I think if I had hit the specification exactly it would probably fit but next time I'm just going to leave a little bit more surface area or surface uh, overall dimension here just a little bit because I got plenty of room for my primary now um, that's what the stainless steel wire looks like 
and that is two specification with the uh, 11.6k I believe we're looking for um, that I already measured that out and that's what it was that is wire from Stan's estate uh, I wrapped it with that uh, fiberglass type of tape that stuff works pretty good it's just thick but it works real good for what I'm doing now I think I finally figured out I truly believe that um, I know how the primary was wrapped and even if it is wrong it sure does work awfully well but from my uh, design here from my previous attempt I wrapped one of these completely three layers worth and then the other thing I did is I wrapped it in in the channels of the um, where the inductors were all right that's why I've got so many primary outputs here but what I did this time I've been doing lots of research and what I did is I marked out exactly where the cavities used to be and then I wrapped my wire exactly on top of that. I truly do believe that this is the way it's supposed to be. If just the way it's worded and the way Stan talks about it and the functionality of the coil. The primary needs to be like that in my opinion. Um, I literally just wrapped it on there tight enough to keep it in place and then I taped it up. It worked like a charm. Um, here is the top layer which you've already seen in the thing here. That's 30 AWG magnet wire. Um, that's heavy build. I do have 35 and 38 AWG triple build coming. And that's really what I think it needs to be. So there it is on the core. It did fit nicely on the original um, uh, core or uh, uh, laminates that Don sent me. Um, these laminates are almost a specification of the drawings, but they're a little bit longer and a few things need to be changed, but the center is the same and uh, I think the length here is the same. It's just the length here is off. This looks really, really close to what the pictures do on the estate. I think that's about all I have for you. Um, I'm going to show you a video here at the end. There is one of the arcs I got off of it. I will show you the video at the end. And what happened is I think because I had a lots of kinks and things with my stainless steel wire, I believe it internally shorted. And once it internally shorted, unfortunately the EMF no longer, the back EMF no longer tries to get out. It's suffocated, if you will, by this shorted coil. And it doesn't work very well. But when I was testing this, I just had it hooked up to the rustic frequency generator. Just a 50% duty cycle generator. And I'll tell you what, there was arcs coming from here out to the outside and arcs from all of these wires into the inside and there is literally corona discharge just coming off of the ends of these wires it was unbelievable now I did capture a little video before it blew up and shorted out so I'll, I'll put that at the end here but I was out just I was just amazed um, at the amount of voltage that came out of this transformer and one thing I will tell you is that this stainless steel and somebody else mentioned this the stainless steel wires from like 1994 or something and the coating on it is so fragile and it doesn't take much to peel it off or chip it off um, and you know we a lot of people have experienced using Stan's original stainless steel wire we, they've actually experienced uh, bad things this stuff coming off and um, not working and shorting out so the new stuff that we'll have coming um, I got some test samples and then when we order some I'll let you guys know but for the moment those are kind of shot but this stuff worked real good so there's a corona discharge uh, next up is the next update I have for you the guys over at the forums are just awesome you guys are awesome teamwork is what I'm talking about and it's freaking awesome so check this out uh, BAM 5 actually drew up the injectors in 3D I'm gonna go through these real fast I'm gonna let you look at them over at the forums, okay? There's a breakdown of it. Now one thing we did notice, or he did notice, was the ceramic piece was ten thousandths too long and they need, needed to be ten thousandths back in order for the water to get through the cavities correctly. So that was one thing that needed to be changed. Other than that, the drawings actually matched up. Everything worked just fine. Um, Alright, uh, the last thing. I think that's it. I think that's all I got to tell you. Um, the last thing I'm just going to show you that video and uh, of the transformer here working pretty cool. Um, I think that's it. So, Russ, I'll do your research. Peace and love to you all. 
help where you can, uh, do what you can. Um, I guess the last thing I should mention is uh, the tool to make the end. Uh, not this piece, but this piece here. To make that uh, inside cut, um, I got an email from a gentleman. I think his name is Bill, if I remember right. And uh, he's actually having two of those custom made because the degree angle is, I believe, slightly over two degrees. Um, and he's going to do some more math and figure it out and make sure it's exactly what they're looking for. But to get the depth, he's ordering some that are real long so that we can actually get all the way inside there. Some of the guys over at the forums are talking about particular part number pieces that, um, that you can order right now that are good to go. But I think from what Bill was saying is a little bit off. Uh, so he'll, he's going to do some more looking and get back with me but man the kind of uh the kind of sharing and doing is just remarkable so i just want to thank you guys and you all really do keep me going and uh you know a couple people donated two dollars ten dollars twenty five dollars and i tell you what those little donations add up they really do um the connectors and the wire i mean i think that was like three hundred and fifty dollars um what else was there in there the connectors were like sixty dollars i only got twenty four of them um, that way I can make about three different injectors. This stuff is ridiculously expensive. So you guys that can donate, thank you. Um, it, it is needed, and I greatly appreciate it. And everyone else does too, because we're all learning. We're in it together. I'll share everything I can and uh, give it to you. So let's on to the clip of the transformer. Enjoy. By the way, yes, it was very hot plasma. All right, off to the end. See you guys. Thank you. Bye.